the world's full of children who grew up too fast. I'm a lot more confident because I have, I know what my purpose is. It gave me the confidence to make better decisions when it came to a lot of things, but especially when it came to my finances. I didn't have any long-term vision. I wanted everything right now. And in order to get the things that I wanted in the moment, sometimes I would do, I would do it in, a, in ways that I shouldn't have. Let's just say it like that. The way the average American person lives and how they exchange their time for money, it's a bad deal. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to make my life about doing things that are joyous to me every single second of my life. I have children, I wanna coach their teams. I wanna, you know, do charity work. I wanna travel the world. I want to donate my time to people who who need me and who need what I have to offer. And sitting behind a desk, punching a clock for some corporation doesn't quite fit that bill for me. I'd rather make my money work for my money. I read a book and it had a very interesting quote. It said, I can't afford to spend my time making money. In order to have money to make money, you have to sacrifice. And one of the things that I had to sacrifice was uh, my vehicle, you know, my choice in vehicle. I love, 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 love cars. Before I had this mindset, and I was thinking about right now, I wasn't thinking about the future, I wasn't thinking about sacrificing, I went out and I got a brand new truck. And my payment was almost $700 a month, which is ridiculous ridiculous but i had to sacrifice it this is it gotta give it up take this off and now i drive a 1996 honda civic and i love it to death because it's mine it's paid off 18 dollars a week on gas is all i spend and i'm able to save that 700 dollars a month that i was spending on my car payment being 100% transparent with you guys. Probably a year or two ago, I would have been embarrassed to be seen in my car. I don't know, I had this imaginary rep or image that I had to uphold. But now it's like, I don't care. I know where my life is heading. I got plenty of Porsches and Lamborghinis in my future. But for now, I'm gonna ride this Honda Civic like it's a Bentley and I don't care who sees me in it. All my friends have all these amazing cars and I, I love it, you know? I'm happy for them. And I used to feel the pressure. You know, I got friends with Porsches, I have friends with Benzes, I have friends with Denali's. Point of the story, sacrifice, make smart moves with your money now, set yourself up for the long run because you don't wanna be 55, 65 years old scrambling.